Colleges at Caltech say we are going to feel a lot of aftershocks in the days to come. CBS 2's Joy Benedict found out how strong they could be. Oh my God. The images are enough to instill fear hours after the shaking ended as a 7.1 magnitude quake rocked Southern California. Scientists say, hold on, more is coming. We expect that this sequence will generate over 30,000 earthquakes, a magnitude one and greater. The good news is experts lowered the probability of another 7.0 magnitude or higher quake to 3%. But the chance of feeling another quake stronger than a five in the next week is almost guaranteed. For a while, Ridgecrest was known as the earthquake capital of the world because they had so many small earthquakes. There are apparently numerous small faults running through this part of the state, and it's always been active with small quakes since seismologists started keeping track back in the 1930s. Scientists say all this seismic activity up in Kern County is actually taking place on two separate faults. Take a look at this graph right here with each of these dots representing a foreshock or an aftershock clearly running in different directions. The good news is scientists say the energy from all these quakes is actually heading north away from the populated areas. If they were rupturing from north to south, then there would be more likelihood uh, to have damage in, say, Palmdale or uh, other areas that are a bit closer than, say, downtown LA. And although leaders in the LA area unveiled a new app to send out an early warning for quakes this year, it hasn't gone off. Scientists reiterate that it isn't supposed to. It's set to only alert users if a quake is strong enough to produce damage in LA County. Although we are told that threshold may be lowered, scientists aren't so sure that it should be. If you lower it to just felt shaking, then people get used to, oh, when I hear this sound, I'm going to feel an earthquake. That's it. I don't have to do anything about it. And that could be potentially dangerous. We want, we want people, when they hear the alert go off, to drop cover and hold on. Joy Benedict, CBS 2 News.